November 21, 2004, St. Anne's Conception, An End to Barrenness. This year, the Roman Catholic Church will observe the 150th anniversary of the definition of the Immaculate Conception on December 8th. Since our country has been placed under the patronage of Mary with the title of the Immaculate Conception, our American byzantine Ruthenian Catholic Church moved our observance from December 9 to December 8. Our Church observes three conceptions and nativities each year, Jesus, Mary the Theotokos, and John the Baptist. Traditionally, the conception of Jesus, the perfect one, is celebrated exactly nine months before his nativity, March 25th and December 25th. John's is nine months and a day, September 23rd and June 24th. Mary's is nine months less a day, December 9th and September 8th. The Byzantine churches, which have celebrated Mary's conception since the 7th century, emphasize the one who conceived, St. Anne, mother of the Theotokos, and we call the feast St. Anne's Conception. In every conception we are aware of both the one who conceives and the one who is conceived. The feast of St. Anne's Conception directs our attention to a milestone in history that shows the blessing of God on a human action, an action that marks the beginning of every human being. The hymns of the feast stress the end of St. Anne's childlessness. The childlessness of Anne is compared to the barrenness of the world, which cannot produce its own salvation. This must come from God. Anne has produced the most beautiful fruit, who will bring forth the bread of immortality for the world, which in turn will bring all barrenness to an end. From the Kathisma hymn at Matins. The world has in many ways returned to barrenness, at times by its own wish. How appropriate it is for us to share the truth of this conception that in turn led to the birth of the Savior. How necessary it is for us to recall that our very lives, human as they are, can bring forth the holy through which God can save the world. The uniqueness of Mary's holiness is not overlooked. This holiness, however, is celebrated in the East more solemnly on the feast of the entrance of the Theotokos into the temple, November 21. Let us join in the observance of the 150th anniversary in our parish's celebration of both feasts.